All right, guys, how is everybody doing? Scott Tig with you. Um, this is a little uh, another update of what I've been doing here on the layout. As you see here, I've been doing some tunnel portals and some rock carving. Now this area here, and what I'm working on is is this section here that we passed update uh, where the paper mill is. It comes down here goes down the grade here and this is where the pusher service pusher engines and all that will be in here as you see the center siding here for the pushers uh, you got two lines here that split off and go up start going up the grade here so this is where the pusher will be tacked on here going up the grade but I've been moving down this way as you see here I got the foam in painted uh, the front foamed and painted and now I'm uh, did a little carving of the rock plaster work ton of portals here these ton of portals was made out of foam if you can see it there and that one and then this one over here. But all this is uh, carved uh, freehand out of plaster and stained different colors to match the rocks that I'm wanting to represent. But yeah, the tunnel portals are, are foam, carved out of foam. And then I got all the, uh, well, about all the uh, foam in here. For the section you see a sculpt molded in the uh, in between the sections letting it dry it's all the way around going down to the yard now but that's where I stopped right there but uh, this tunnel portal here is a natural rock tunnel portal as you see here can't get a close-up of it I need to get some under underbalanced lights here for the lower section in some places. It's just too shadowy. But uh, yeah, everything's kind of dark under here. I got that one and then haven't got this one stained and colored yet. It's another one. So you really can't see the rock carving there being all white. But it eventually turn out like that one right there so yeah got all that all that done I'm, I said I think I said in the past video that I wasn't going to start this way I was going to go up on the upper level and that's that's what I I did I got to to you know right here and then decided to stop and uh, just let this sit for a while and then start on the uh, the coal mine on the upper level on the top so that's what I'm working on now but I just wanted to show you this what I got in here but I think I, I'm gonna like how it's gonna turn out you see there the view going down the hill there into the tunnel I think that's gonna be uh, a good scene to you know you set your camera up right here and get it coming out of the tunnel but uh, once everything is scenic and the trees and all that like the upper level I think it's gonna be uh, pretty awesome and then in here there'll be you know crew building here and for the crews for the pushers and all that stuff in, in this section here so a lot more work to do right there but uh, just wanted to show you that um, I think that's about it to show you right now. Um, like I said, just I'm just starting to work on the coal mine area on the up, upper level. Um, I'll show you. Starting to work on that, getting some rock. I can I can probably show you this. Um, Want to try the do the foam rock carvings again, as you see here. This is uh. 
cut out of this foam here cut this uh, rock work out one there and this is going to be right behind the coal loader this rock right here and then this rock here but I uh, just wanted to try that. It wasn't, a, it wasn't enough room between the coal loader that says right here. And if I put some kind of rock here, I think it would have been too far this way. And it probably wouldn't look right. So decided to do it this way. I think it turned out pretty good. The camera doesn't do it justice. It, the, the colors is, look like they're off on the camera. But... Uh, and I guess it's contrasting with the lighting and stuff, but uh, it did real well. Um, I think I'm pleased with it. But I, like I said, I like to uh, carve rocks out of plaster. I think that's the biggest thing. Got a little run there. Get that. But I'll, most of that will be covered up with greenery and stuff like that. I'm not too worried about it. But uh, I think it turned out good. Uh, but like I said, trying different techniques on this layout, I learned over the years, uh, you know, like the, the rock, the rock carving, some of it's hand carved and well, a lot of it's hand carved, um, prefabricated rock, which I got a video, uh, of that I'll sh I'm showing you after, after this one, but, uh, and then, uh, rock molds which i don't do that many of um show you one here there's a rock mold here but all this around it's hand carved but it, you know I, i'm just whatever works and whatever looks good at that in that area I'll, I'll i'll put in but like i said trying different techniques and stuff like that um i think it's fun to try different techniques don't be afraid to try different techniques if you if you mess up try again i mean it's nothing's molded out of concrete you can always fix it always fix it but it but it at the end of the day it gives you that more that much more confidence of working on stuff than saying no nah, i can't do that and never try it so try it if you, if it don't if it if it fails do it again eventually you'll you you'll you'll get a you'll get the hang of it and uh you'll have fun doing it that's why i like the hand car because you never know what it's going to look like what the total outlook is going to look like until you get done with it and like i said if you don't like it tear it out do it over again well i think that's uh about it for this update guys uh, when I get some more stuff done, I'll let you see it. And uh, till till next time, guys. Happy modeling and stay safe.